So we can try this one more time. I'll kill some proteins and then we should see them uh, come alive again. Okay, let's go for this red one and this blue one. All right, and now we'll watch the system react. So if we look up here, we'll see that, okay, now only one and two are apparently running. Um, and then new numbers appear as the uh, tasks show up again. So let's just watch them reappear. At the moment there's programming happening down here. Ah, okay, red is back. Now we're just waiting for blue. And blue is back again as well. All right, now the final thing to show is that this macro molecular machinery may appear to be a single point of failure on the cell, but it's not. It's also just a protein, so if we kill it, it will also just reappear on, on a, a different protein. So I'm going to kill this one over here. Uh, all right, it's dead now. The cell notices it's dead. And this protein is now given up on the job it was doing. And it is going to become the new macromolecular machinery of the cell. And that's happening, in fact, by this neighboring cell reprogramming this cell. So normally programming just happens within the cell itself, but in this case it happens between cells in order to uh, bring the cell back to life. And we should see this come up again. It's back. Mm. Ah, and at the moment there's two green ones. Does that resolve itself? No. Ah, it did resolve itself. There we go. So let's see where... Did the blue one go now? Ah, oh, the blue one became the macromolecular machinery, so that's got to turn back into a blue over here. That's busy programming. And there it's back again. And the system is back to being stable with one macromolecular machinery per cell. Excellent.